Hello everyone, welcome to another video on store feeder. This is Nadia from Ecom Clips. In this video, I am going to show you a step by step process of how to create a bulk listing in Shopify using the bulk process on store feeder. Keep watching. Store feeder is a hosted multi channel e commerce software solution. It integrates with major sales channels including eBay, Amazon, Shopify, online store and more. You can easily list multiple products at once using a store feeder. For instance, imagine you have to list more than 1000 items. It will cost you a valuable time if you want to list them manually. Instead, you can spend this time thinking of way to improve your business to move it forward. So, if you don't want to waste countless hours on manual listing and want to save your time, then the bulk listing is the best choice for you. It will make your job easier and increase your work efficiency. So, let's move on to the screen. First, login into your store feeder account. After login into your account, here you can see this is the home page of the store feeder. To bring this process, hover over listing in the menu bar. You will see there are four options manage listings, listings import export, listing overview and bulk upload listings. In my previous video, I showed you how to listing import export. Please check the i button and the description section for the link. Today, I am going to show you how to bulk upload a listing. First, you need to select bulk upload listings. After clicking the bulk upload listing, the next step is select the channel on which channel you want to create a bulk listing. For the Shopify website, you need to select the Shopify channel from the drop down menu. After selecting the Shopify channel, you can see products are filtered by the options on channel and not on channel. If we selected on channel, then it show you all the existing products which have already been listed. So you can modify your listed products or you can update the name, price and inventory easily. We will discuss this in detail in not on channel option. Now let's click on not on channel. If you select not on channel, then it will show you all the products which have not been listed yet. If you want to select all the products on the page, then simply click the checkbox on the top left corner. You can also select how many products you want to see on page 1. For this, go to the page size and select how many products you want to select at once. And if you want to select a few products for upload, then you can select this to click the checkbox next to the products. Or if you want to upload any specific product but you don't have that much time to look for it, and want to update it then you can easily find this product by using sq and name you need to search here if you want to find the products by sq or you can search here to use by name here another way is you can find the product by using inventory suppose we input 5 here and then go to the filter menu if we select equal to it will show us all the products with 5 quantities if we select less than then it will show us all the products which have less than 5 5 quantities. So you can easily find and see how many products are left in your inventory. If we have assigned our product in the store feeder, we can filter products by selecting the category in the drop down box. And also from the export excel section, you can download how many products are there in not on channel and also you can do it for on channel. So you can change the product according to your convenience and after completing all the procedure then simply click upload products to upload bulk listing on Shopify. The uploading process might take up to half an hour to be visible on the channel depending on the number of items. So this is the process of how to create listing in Shopify using the bulk process on store feeder. We hope that if you watch this video and follow the process you can easily list in Shopify to use bulk process. If you have any question regarding store feeder please let us know in the comment section below. We will be glad to help you with that. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is helpful, please like, comment and share this video to help others. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel EcomClips. You can also visit our website www.ecomclips.com for more information about EcomClips. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.